Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Big Don Be the Princess, aka V Mitten Princess, aka Big B, and we're back at it again with another motherfucking YouTube video. My blend, my blend gone. Ugh, okay, today we are about to attempt, try our best, put our best foot forward, and attach an Amazon wig to my dome piece but we ain't finna just do it any other way we're not doing it the got to be glue spray way no bitch i went outside my body and i purchased a 35 dollar bottle of motherfucking boho so this bitch better be giving me gorilla grip gorilla grip okay um that we been not going nowhere for a month is what i'm saying <laughs> yo $35, bitch, girl, I almost rethought, I almost, <laughs> y'all almost ain't get a video, <laughs> but no, so right now, um, I just got home, you know, when I get off work, I just like to be naked and just, just sit around, I don't fuck clothes, I really am not a clothes person, um, but I went to the hair store, got me a few items. I'll show y'all the items that I got right now. And then I'm finna hop in the shower, wash my hair out. My auntie's finna come through, braid my hair because I rendered myself crippled. And I can't do that no more. Not by myself. So I'm glad I have an auntie who is down with the cause. <laughs> you feel me? FYI, Fatty Cakes is out now, everybody. The official music video for Fatty Cakes is out now. You can click the link in my description. It is also out on SoundCloud and Audio Mac. Check it out, guys. Give it a like. Give it a share. I will be dropping my next music video when Fatty Cakes reached 1,000 views. Okay? So run that shit up, y'all. Let's do it. So this is other things that I got. I got this hot comb because... I be seeing bitches do like the flip up thing and just be looking phenomenal, sensational, and they always achieve it with a hot comb. So you know what? I got one. I spent $24 on this one item. Um, contrary to popular belief, I really don't be spending money like that. Like, I really don't. When I get some money, I spend it. And I spend it fast. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. But yes, I got this item. All right, the next thing that I got is this triple wave styler. It goes up to 400 degrees. I love crimples. I, okay, I love crimps. I call them crimples. I love crimples way before this shit came back into being a trend, baby. If you go through my old pictures, you will see me crimped up. You will see me with pictures with the crimper in hand. Like, I've always loved crimples and why do I keep calling them crimples? I've always loved crimps and I'm excited to do it with this wig that I'm getting. Now the wig is blonde, but I plan on dyeing her. There should be four of these, shouldn't there? There should. Where is the fourth? Right here. Okay, I plan on dyeing her a mystery color. I'm not telling y'all what color she gonna be because we're gonna do that together. But um, I got some colors and I'm excited. I hope it turns out exactly the way I want it to. So we're gonna do that together, y'all. So I got four of those. I am a mass supporter of Wild Growth Oil, baby. Wild Growth Oil. I never tried the orange one, but I heard if you use both this one and the orange one, you will see superb results. But my thing is, with this one, with this one, and I mix it always with my Jamaican Black Castor Oil, with that, superb results. So, I, who knows what the orange one is giving. I should have got me one of them. But the bold hold, the bold hold, she was holding onto my wallet. Okay, I got me a few pairs of lashes. These ones are like individual and I've never tried those before. And I'm thinking like plopping some under the eye, plopping a few above, seeing what these give. I'm very excited for that. I got a pair of these and also a pair of these. I've really been feeling the wispier type lash and I've noticed like, yes, this lash does look thick, but because of like the leveled the leveledness of it all it looks more wispy when it's actually attached to the face so that's just a little tidbit a little tidbit yes it's still a thicker lash but baby it gives wisp 
Okay. <clears throat> I got some little gloves for when we dye the hair together. I was contemplating on getting this because I keep telling myself, I don't need another one of these. What the fuck? I got my pink one. But, like, sometimes I can't be finding my pink one. And also, this one is much thinner than that one. And I look he could use this one to hold my fucking... I look he could use this one to hold my wigs down at night time. Yeah, I justified this purchase. I justified this purchase because look at it. It's so fucking cute. Ain't it? Ain't it just cute as fuck? It is. And I just had, I had to have it. So, here we are. Okay, I got these because I like doing ponytails. I love doing ponytails. I love a cute bun moment. But I don't do them correctly. I don't do them correctly. Um, I do them wrong every single time. And that's exactly why y'all see the bun. And then I got the ponytail. Y'all thought that was a tribute to Sailor Moon? Yes, it is. But I be fucking up. And them buns just help a bitch. <laughs> like, it really do. It, it really helps a bitch. But, like, giving the cute Sailor Moon tees will always be my fave. Like, I love doing it with a braid, with a motherfucking bubble braid. But literally just, you know, hair out. The buns will always be my thing, even when I start giving full on pony. And I'm hoping these help me out with that a little bit. Okay. You know, just rainbow clips. Love colors, brightness, pink. Like, I even love black too. Like, you know, <clears throat> I got some African black soap. I've always wanted to try this out. I'm hoping I got it from a a reputable company. I know Shea Moisture. We all love Shea Moisture for the hair products, but I don't know how I feel about them with like pure, pure product. You know, I want some Jamaican black. I mean, some. I want some African black soap that's pure African black soap. And I don't know if this is or not. I'm not too big of a fan of this way it smells, but I'm ready to see what it does for you, baby. Everything I do, I do for you. Anyway, then I got me some mousse. A comb, even though I do already have a comb. I just like, I just need everything in twos. I'm the type of person who needs, who needs more than one of everything because I lose a lot of everything. I lose it, I misplace shit. I fucking break shit like I stuff comes missing a lot around this motherfucker. So um, I need like two. I need one in one position. Like let's say I put one in my bathroom. I need the other one by my beauty desk at all times. I'm starting to think I need three so I can put one in my purse, baby. Cause <laughs> the way I be losing shit, the way I be forgetting shit. <sighs> anyway. And now for the fucking star of the show, because the bitch was expensive, we have the <clears throat> bold hold glue with the remover. Y'all disrespectful as fuck to charge $35 for this shit and then the remover $15. At that point, they both should just be together and be $35. I would be less mad, frustrated. This shit better be given. It better be given what the YouTubers gave me. It better be giving what the YouTubers gave it. It, in fact, was not giving what the YouTubers gave it. Um, After one night of sleeping in it, my motherfucking wig was laying on my left titty. So, um, I do not recommend. I mean, I feel like maybe if you use more layers. Like, because when I put it on at first, it was stuck. But, I don't know. Well, I'm coming for everybody's pockets. I'm coming for everybody's pockets. YouTube, you're going down. YouTubers, you're going down. Product at hand, you're going down. Company, you're going down. Everybody's going down. I got one of these for my edges. Um, I heard, actually, that we should stop using these for our natural edges. Um, because over time, they kind of just rip your edges out because of how dense the brush is. And it's better to use the comb end instead. So that's what I'll be doing for my natural hair. But for the wigs, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Lay it! Lay it! Lay it! Lay it. I've been thinking, like, people tell me if I want to get paid from YouTube, if I want some money, if I want this to be an actual career, I need to basically 
be a more marketable, sellable version of myself. And my thing is, I'm marketable and I am sellable and I am that bitch and then some and some more. Y'all see Brett May Rock out here doing his thing? Ain't stop cursing one time. Ain't stop cussing one time. Y'all see how rich fucking Tana Mongoose done got? Off of cursing, off of being herself, you know? I just want to be myself in the more, little, I want to be myself in the most comfortable, girl, I just turned my head that way and looked in the mirror and just got a glimpse of my whole ass little naked body. Anyway, um, <laughs> I want to be myself in the most comfortable way that I can possibly be, and that is 100% authentic, okay? So, yes, I'm a little bit ghetto, yes, I'm a little bit loud, yes, I'm a little bit ratchet, yes, I move my hands a lot, yes, I'm a little bit over the top, yes, I am that dipped in more, dipped in butter, but... That don't mean you can't come here and see, like, positivity, love, aspiration, joy, family-oriented stuff. I mean, you probably won't, but that don't mean you can't. <laughs> that don't mean you can't, okay? So, what I'm going to do is start taking down... These bums, these big ass bums. <sighs> Why won't this come out? I'm getting a headache. I look bummy. Ugh. Why is this taking so damn long? This is just so ghetto. So ghetto. What's up? Okay, so in the background, we got the water going for the dip dye of this blonde wig. She's supposed to be 26 inches. I don't know the specs yet because she is curled. She's giving me a little bit shorter than that. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think she's 26 inches. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, this is what she's giving, blonde. Um, the price for her will be on the screen, as well as where I got her from, and it will be in the description box below. So, yeah. This is a T-part lace front wig, which basically means the lace goes through down here, but it's also at the perimeter of the wig. So... This is kind of what it's giving. If it was glued down, it would be giving better than that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this is not big head friendly for real, for real. Like, it'll fit my head. But, like, I'm gonna have that little gap right there. And I don't like that, bro. Like, I'm one of the bitches who likes to do one of these. Like, I love doing one of those. And oh, we just, we, we shall see. All right. So... And I'm not getting on here pretending like, oh, I know how to do everything following my footsteps. No, do not do that, baby girl. This is my first time, first time dip dyeing a wig. So if y'all see some shit and it works out for me, that's because I'm blessed and happy favor by the Lord. Okay? That and only that. So let's do it. Let's do it. These are the colors that I have for you guys. I have a door. Cajun Spice. I did watch this girl's YouTube video and these are the ones she used, but I got a little twist for mine. So she used French Cognac and Cinnamon and Cajun Spice. She used these three. But because I want more of an orange punch to mine because I have a a, a white corporate America type. <laughs> the funny part is these niggas fired me because they told me my hair color was not professional and I fought that shit to the bitter end and the white folks won. Um yeah, the white folks won. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So motherfucker. Well maybe less corporate and just white America type job. And they say natural hair colors only. So I'm just gonna add some orange blaze. <laughs> some orange blaze. Some orange blaze. So I'm just gonna add some orange blaze. Why can't I say blaze? I'm just gonna add some orange blaze to this concoction. And we're gonna get it done. We're gonna see what we can do. 
Um, I thought I was gonna let the blonde sit for a little bit, but I actually kind of detest this. Yeah. Give me a second. Put my bowl with my water. So the first thing I am gonna do to this wig is flip it inside out and get my got to be spray. Put it on top of the lace so that it does not, you know, die. Cajun spice, French cognac. Cinnamon is more on the brown side. My nose. I want the roots to be a little bit darker, not a lot, but a little bit darker than the actual hair color. So we're gonna see what I achieve, y'all. I'm gonna try my fucking damnedest. So they took the hair like this and then they dipped it in this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. A little bit more on the brown side, right? Orange blaze to get the rest of the hair. That we got the roots in there. We're going to put the rest of the wig in there. Ooh, I'm excited! Dunk the whole shit. Dunk the whole shit in there. Time, bro. We gotta make sure we really. Ooh, I'm not showing y'all the color until we done, bro. Hell nah, this is so good. Wait, I can't really judge it right now because I don't know what it's gonna look like when we're done, done. But right now, I like it a lot. This is so pretty. Cool. Who would have knew dying hair was so fucking easy? You telling me Paul Mitchell scanned me into going to their school for this? Wow, I love this. I love this. Okay, I don't know what it is about me, but colors make me very happy. Like, I love colors. I love when colors come out the perfect, like, the perfect shade in the exact way that I want it to be. Like, <sighs> colors are magnificent. <laughs> And that's probably why I surround myself with them so much. This is my first time dip dyeing a wig, and I love doing this already. <laughs> but yeah, that's my thing. Like, people on this app, on lots of apps, they like to seem like they're professionals at everything. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of y'all are professionals, you know? But, motherfucking beginners be coming on this app trying to teach motherfuckers how to do stuff baby i'm not teaching y'all how to do nothing we learning together and so far what i've done kind of works but what i've done is what everybody else done you know i got my hot water which i didn't even boil i got it up straight from my bathtub y'all heard it here first um i got the adore dyes which are not the best dyes in the world but they get the fucking job done um i soak it i dip it i dunk it you know and um, after that, I'm gonna put some conditioner in it. Put some styling products in her so she can be protected from the heat. Some heat protected and whatever, some oils and stuff. And I am, I don't feel like doing all that plucking and shit. I'm going to though. I don't know if I'm gonna record it. Cause y'all done seen a million bitches pluck a motherfucking lace before. What do I have to do it for? Okay. What do I have to do it for? Okay, so I'm gonna take our baby and set her off to the side. We love you, baby. And go pour out our concoction. About the baddest bitch herself. We all know about Miss Inexpensive Legend. We, are, we all know about what she does to a good curl pattern. So what do y'all need to hear from me for? I think I'm gonna ditch the gloves now. Look like a dead squirrel. Look, Dad, I got a catch. Okay. And this is the color we have so far. I'm not sure if the orange lights in here is giving it justice to the. You see that? This is what we have so far. Wig conditioner and detangler.
Y'all thought I was done. This rap shit, it was made for me. Don't do this shit for fun. These niggas wanna eat me up like fire mountain buns. But I'm just out here getting. Watch me try the bald cap method for the first time. Rap on any nigga beat. Tell him thank you next. If you wonder where the fuck I'm from, L.I. representing. I ain't fucking know none of these niggas been there, done that. Niggas won't respect my fucking fans because they don't like my body, so I eat on every beat they cook. Not a nigga salty. Bitch, your rap is faulty. Plus, you sound like every fucking body. Told that boy, get off me. Pissy nigga, get this boy a potty. Fatty cakes, fatty cakes, bakers, man. Pussy pack with flavor like a Pepsi can. Fatty cakes, fatty cakes, bakers, man. Pussy pack with flavor like a Pepsi can. Bitch, you know I'm pretty. 